Hello, all. welcome to this new lesson. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you the difference between compiler warning and compiler error, because these are the two you know commonly occurring things when you are doing you know a serious C programming stuffs. Also, I feel understanding the difference between compiler warning and compiler error is very very important, especially if you are a beginner who has just started to learn how to do programming. Okay, so let's get started. What do you mean by compiler warnings? So I'm going to read out this definition of warnings for now. And later, I'm going to explain the meaning of this definition. Okay, so warnings report some unusual conditions in your code that may indicate a problem, although compilation can and does proceed. Warnings may indicate danger points where you should check to make sure that your program really does what you intended to do. Or warning could result because of the use of obsolete features or the use of non-standard features of standards, right? So this means that warnings are the compiler's way to indicate to the programmer that the compilation has completed and the binary file has also been generated. But the compiler cannot guarantee as to whether the program will generate the desired output or not. Okay, this is because the compiler thinks that the programmer has done some sort of nasty things in his source code. Right. So the nasty things in the source code could include, you know, using features of C that is no more supported by the current version of C compiler, or using some obsolete features, or writing C source code in an, uh, you know, non-standard way compared to the standard way, and something like this. Right. So though warnings will allow your programs to run, or Though warnings will allow you to execute your program, right? I would recommend you, okay, in my opinion, that not to uh, go and execute your program until you make sure that your program is completely free of warnings, right? So whenever compiler, you know, uh, issues warnings for your source code, it is your duty to actually, you know, uh, open the source code, okay, rectify the problems and recompile the source code. And once you make sure that there is no more warnings, only then go ahead and then run your uh, executable. Right. So this is all about warnings. Okay. So now let us see when do you get compile time errors. Okay. Now, so when do you get compile time errors? You get compile time errors when the compiler realizes that the programmer has done some kind of you know mistake in writing C source code. Okay. It means that when the you know the programmer has used wrong syntax while writing the C source code, or in simple words, uh, you get compile time errors when the compiler realizes that the programmer has used wrong vocabulary, okay, of C language while writing the C source code. Right. So, for example, uh, you know uh, the programmer would have you know missed using a semicolon. Or the programmer would have forgotten to add a closing uh, brace while you know terminating a block and so on and so forth, right? So these are called as your you know syntax errors, right? So it is a problem with your language vocabulary, right? So whenever you get compile time errors, it means that the compilation has failed and the binary file has not been generated, right? So whenever you get compile time errors, make sure that you open the source code, rectify those mistakes, correct correct those syntax you know problems, and then compile it once again and uh, once your compilation is successful, then you will get a binary file and then you can go, go ahead and run your C programs, right? So the difference between your warnings and errors is that, okay, so warnings will allow you to run your pro, you know, run your source code, run your program. It means that when you get a compilation warning, it means that the compilation is, you know, uh, completed and the binary file has been generated so that you can go and run your code. Whereas when you get compile time errors, okay, it means that the compilation has been a failure and there is no binary code uh, generated for it right so until you rectify the compiler error your compiler will not allow you to you know generate the binary code and you will not be able to run your program right so this is the difference between your warnings and errors okay so now i'm going to show these differences practically okay so for that let me first create a folder on my desktop i'm going to create a folder on my desktop let me call it as warnings and errors okay demo or something like that okay warnings and error demo right so as you can see i have a folder now so now i'm going to open my dev c++ id okay so let me open a new source file okay now i'm going to write a program okay int main and i'll say printf hello world right hello world right so now i'm going to save this uh, program okay save the source file in the folder that i just created on the desktop right it's on the desktop with the name warnings and errors demo 
So I am going to give it a name as warning demo for now because I am demonstrating warnings now. So I'll just call it as warning demo. And because it is a C source file, I'm saving it as .c and I'll say save. Right. So let me show that to you. Okay. So this was the folder that we created, and as you can see, I have one uh, source file over here which I just now created and saved. Okay. It's a C source file, right? So as you can see, there is no other file other than this, you know, original source file, right? So let me again open my uh, dev C++. Now it is saved. Now I'll have to compile this program. Okay. So let me compile this. So as you can see, compiler has issued me a warning. So it says that incompatible implicit declaration of built-in function printf, right? So as I told you, even though there is a warning, even though the compiler has issued me a warning, okay, the compilation will be you know, completed and the binary file will be generated. Okay, so let me show that binary file to you. So as you can see, okay, in this folder, there was earlier, there was only you know one file that is a C source file. Now there is a executable file, which is the result of your you know uh, successful compilation of your C program, right? So this proves that the binary file gets generated even though there is a compiler warning, okay? Now, what I'll do is that, okay, so it is not good to have a warning like this. Okay, so I would uh, see what is the warning all about. It says, uh, I, you know, incompatible implicit declaration. So it technically means that I have not added this preprocessor directive. That was, that is, there was no function declaration found for printf. So I've added this hash include yesterday word.h and let me save it once again. And then I'm going to compile it once again. This should probably you know, take away my warning. Okay, so I'm compiling. Well, compiling once again, as you can see that there is no more warnings. The warnings are zero, the errors are zero. And now I think I'm very, I'm good to go. So let me run this program. I'm waiting for the output. Yes, here you go. The output is hello world, right? So I think uh, you understood how warning works or uh, you know what to do when you get a warning, okay? So one thing that you have to understand is warnings will allow you to run your program, okay? You will get your binary file executed, right? I mean, binary file generated, right? So let me show you what happens during your, uh, uh, you know, what happens when you get a compile time error, okay? So let me close this ID once again and let me, okay, remove these files that are stored here so that I want to show it to you from first. And then, okay, so I'm opening my dev C++ ID once again. So I'll create a new source file. Okay, so hash include, I'm writing the C program to generate a syntax block. It's today I dot H. Okay, and then I write int main, then open the brace and close brace, right? So print that hello world. Okay, so I'm purposefully not adding this, you know, semicolon over here because I want some kind of, you know, uh, error to be generated. So let us see what happens. So I'm going to save this file in the same folder where I'd save, you know, which I created earlier. So save as desktop on the desktop. I'm going to save it as error demo. We call it as error demo. Okay, and then I'm going to save it as .c because it is a C programming file. So on the desktop. Okay, so this PC desktop and um, it is in warnings and demo, right? So I'm going to save it. So I'm going to show this uh, program to you. As you can see, there is only one file that is a C source file. Okay, so now let me open my dev C++ and try to compile it. I think it is saved. So now let me try to compile this. So when I compile this program, as you can see, it issues me a warning. It says expected semicolon before, okay, uh, the closing brace. So it says that there is a semicolon missing. So let me show you that, okay, what happens in this folder. As you can see, there is no binary code generated. That is what I told you earlier. Whenever you get a compile time error, there won't be any sort of uh, binary code that is generated, okay? But when you get a compiler warning, okay, there would be a binary code generated. That is the difference between a warning and an error, okay? So now if I want to run this code, I will have to rectify this problem, okay? And then I'll have to save it once again. And then I will compile it once again. So when I compile it, okay, as you can see, now there is no more errors and warnings. Okay, let me go and check those folder, that folder. Okay, so as you can see, now this folder contains my uh, binary file. So how do you make sure that there's a binary file? Okay, by going to properties and by seeing that, you know, it's a dot exe. So the binary file is generated now. Okay, so now if I run this code once again, okay, when I run this code, I'll be getting my output. Hello world, right? So this shows that, you know, uh, this shows that, you know, now the program is successfully running because I've removed the syntax error, right? So this is the difference between your compiler error and compiler uh, warnings, okay? So as a small piece of advice, 
though people say that warnings are okay so uh, in my opinion i don't recommend you to have your source code filled with warnings whenever the compiler issues you a warning make sure that you remove the warnings from your source code and only then you know uh, go ahead and run your uh, programs okay so having said that okay hope you understood the difference between compiler error and compiler uh, warnings okay so in the upcoming lessons i'm going to show you the uh, different types of errors that are you know uh, that you get that you encounter in c language like you know you might get encounter compiler error runtime error and logical error so i'm going to give you the difference between these different types of errors okay so uh, hope you enjoyed this lesson hope you learned something new in this lesson okay so uh, if you like this lesson please do like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my uh, upcoming updates on this programming series okay so meet you in the next lesson until then take care bye bye love you all so much